Hello, Codemento here. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how I can make this smart light predict the weather so that whenever I wake up, I know exactly what the weather is like and I know exactly what to wear. Let's get started. So, the first thing we need to do is to uh, get the weather information. So, to get the weather information, um, I live in London and since I live in London, in England we are actually quite big at determining the weather. The most obvious choice in my case is the Met Office and the, the Met Office provides quite a few APIs. The API I'm interested in is the Data Hub API and the Data Hub, the Data Hub API is able to give me information for the weather for the next 7 days. I only need 20, 24 hours so that's what I'll, I'm going to use and uh, basically I've included the link in the description down below if you follow that link you will be able to create an account and then once you create an account you will be able to register an application and in that application you you mention that you want to use the data hub API and you'll be good to go you'll get two pieces of information a client secret and a client ID keep those safe and don't share it with anyone because they are just your um, they are your own unique keys so now that we've created a, an account in the Met Office and an application uh, key let's give it a go and see if we can call the, the weather API the, the website itself has examples of API calls so I have here one example So I'm just going to execute that in Python and see what I get. So I get a response in JSON and I'll open this response in JSON in a browser to see what information I get. Let's have a look at this JSON and see how it looks like. Right, so it's a big JSON string with lots of properties. So the first part, the first part of this JSON shows me the temperature and the precipitation for the next eight hours. Then uh, at the bottom you'll see there is some parameters being specified and this is uh, um, a way for you to understand what each parameter uh, means. The information here is not quite enough. Um, the weather, uh, some of these properties are better explained in the Met Office website so feel free to go there and have a look. So the, w the properties I'm using for uh, my script are going to be there's the precipitation probability so for the day I'm only interested during the day and this tells me whether it's going to rain or snow and then if it's going to rain then uh, or snow then I know from uh, this property here if it's if it's snow and whether it's heavy snow. Then I also can see whether it's rain and whether it's heavy rain. Okay, so now we know how to get the weather for our, uh, for, for where I live. The next step is to change uh, my lighting uh, color to whatever I need it to be. So I have this uh, E-Lite RGB Wi-Fi bulb that you can see here on this Amazon page um, and uh, thankfully there is a Python API to actually program this bulb. So you can control this uh, both via Alexa or via Google Assistant, but you can also uh, use Python to, to, to control it. 
as well, which is fantastic. So I can show you here Python UI API. So this is the API I'm using. And oh, everything we need to know is here. So the first thing I need to do is to import this library into my uh, Python environment. And then I can start playing around with these methods. So in order to use the Elite API, I need to install the library in my code editor. So I go to preferences, under preferences, project interpreter. I select the Conda package manager. Then I just click on the plus and I'll search for the library here. Wish I can see it. And then I just install it. Okay, so it's installed. Now I can start using it. The first thing I need to do is to import the methods I need from the Elite library. So discover both. the method discover bulbs so the discover bulbs returns all the results in JSON format and I'm going to print that into the screen Okay, so now we have a list of LED bulbs in, in my network. These are all local to me. So I have two, as I can see here. I have an LED uh, strip and also uh, an LED bulb. So I'm going to instantiate the first one. Then I'm going. I can call methods on on this on this bulb. So the first one I can call is turn on. Simple enough. I can turn it off. So I can change the color to um, to green, for example. So on. another option I have here and this is I'm going to show you this later is I can set a flow of colors or a flow of a sequence of, of like effects so rather than just turning on the light and changing the color I want to also have the light uh, flashing depending on whether it's raining or not so the idea is if it's raining it's going to flash. If it's a heavy rain, it's going to flash faster. So when I wake up, if I see my my uh, lamp flashing, I know it's going to be raining. If it's flashing faster than usual, then I know it's going to be a heavy rain and I better bring an umbrella. Then for the temperature, I'm going to have different colors depending on the actual uh, temperature so for ex for instance if it's going to be very hot like above 25 degrees I'm going to set the color to to red dark red and if it's like very cold I'm going to set the color to, to dark blue and so on okay so we are ready to put everything together we are able to get the weather via an API and we are able to change the color of uh, an LED bulb 
So I've created a method set up with the flow which takes as input uh, a bulb, the weather and the duration of the flow which defaults to 60 seconds if you don't specify it. Then I do basically this algorithm will uh, change the color to uh, dark red if it's very hot and if it's not uh, if it's freezing which is the other end of the spectrum it will make it very uh, blue the color furthermore if it does rain or it does snow it will flash and depending on whether it's heavy or not it's going to flash faster if it's heavy rain or, or snow it's going to flash uh, slower if it's just uh, normal rain or normal snow. So I'm using, in this case, the HSV transitions. HSV stands for hue, saturation and, um, and value. Value is brightness. And what I do, I basically set the color, for example, to like dark red and uh, to basically make it flash I have to uh, variate the bright brightness between 0 and 100% and uh, each uh, the third argument here is the step you know the incremental steps I take so for example it will start with 0% then it will be 15% then 30% and so on until it gets to 100 then once I set up the flow, I just turn on the LED bulb and start the flow. And that's it, done. Simple as that. I like running everything inside Docker as it makes it really easy to uh, set up all the dependencies and uh, add extra configuration. So I've created here a Docker file which sets up the time zone, installs the, the, the Python libraries I need, in this case Elite with the pip. Then I also set up the cron which allows me to schedule uh, my uh, weather flow script to be executed every morning. Then along with the docker file I also have a docker compose. The docker compose is where I can put together all the different containers I need. In this case it's only one but uh, this really simplifies the way I, I can execute uh, create the container so that's why I have it here. So the only thing to mention is that I have this mode restart. So f if for some reason the container fails, this will automatically restart it. And I also set up the network mode here to ensure that I'm uh, running. My container itself is actually seeing all the different hosts in my local area network. I've committed also the source code into uh, GitHub. And now what I need to do is to run this on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to SSH into my Raspberry Pi. There is an environment template file that you need to uh, change. Basically you copy, it's a hidden file, you copy this file into .env, then you need to change it. So the first two uh, properties are for your GPS coordinates. You can find out that with Google Maps or something. And then the other two properties are for uh, the, the weather API, uh, the client ID and the client secret ID. And once you have that, you're ready to try and run uh, this uh, container. Before I start the Docker container, I'm just going to check the current uh, schedule. So I've set up a cron tab which has a schedule of 7, well, it's supposed to run every day at 7.30 a.m. So this is looking good. That's the time I normally 
just be, just after I wake up. So I'm going to keep it like that, and I'm going to start the Docker container. And I start the Docker container with Docker Compose app, and then minus D for daemon, which means it will run in the background. And it will so all I have to do now, it's running, all I have to do is wait until tomorrow morning and then at 7.30 a.m. hopefully I'll wake up with the uh, most accurate weather information I can get. Uh -huh.